Kia ora I'm Sean from the uh, from 2040 Limited, and today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, browse interface for the Cacophony thermal camera. This is what the camera looks like um, out in the field. It's basically this box here mounted on a mounting pole with a, a battery. Uh, you put it wherever you want to see um, and monitor your predators. Uh, if you're interested, Cacophony has a downloadable uh, draft monitoring protocol. Uh, suggesting how you can monitor an area sweeping the cameras through different places over different times. Now when the camera is in the field, um, this graphic sort of shows how the videos are retrieved from the camera and uh, stored. So uh, if the camera has a connection it will directly upload the videos via modem or, or even Wi-Fi um, to the Cacophony servers. Um, if it doesn't it will store the videos on the camera and you can upload them um, using a phone app called the Cacophony Sidekick, which will pull the videos off the camera, and then when you get your phone into reception, it will upload the videos with all their time and date stamps and geolocations um, up to the Cacophony servers. You also use the Sidekick app to configure the camera to, act, to set the location, and so you use it as a viewfinder so you can um, adjust the camera when you're setting it up. Now when, you, um, when the video is uploaded to the Cacophony servers, you use the Cacophony browse, uh, the Cacophony portal, to view your videos. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you today. So when you log on to the portal, this is uh, what you see, um, something like this. We see a list of all the different videos that um, have been recorded, uh, along with uh, the time and place, the name of the camera, um, what the uh, tags are for the videos. Uh, so the machine vision runs on the cloud and will tag what animals it thinks are in the videos. And you can also add your own tags. So here there's a rodent, a hedgehog, um, a question mark, etc. Um, there's a group that the cameras are associated with just for um, organizing access and a location, uh, which is just the latitude and longitude. Uh, now with these here, you can also, um, uh, there's a few filters, so you can filter it and see, um, just filter videos of a certain duration, videos that are tagged either by, um, with the various tags that are available, um, or you can search for a particular animal. So here I'll search for, say, a possum, and just find the videos that have possums in them. So let's click on one of these and see what it looks like to view a video. And here you can see that we it is indeed a possum. Now, um, you can help out the machine learning by tagging um, what you think that animal is, just by clicking on one of these. And this will then give us some information that we'll use to improve our machine learning algorithms. You see this is turned green to say that um, your tag agreed with the AI. Now, on this uh, video, you can um, add labels. Um, uh, you can add your own sort of comments in here. You can download it if you want to share the video, um, or you can delete it if it's something you don't want to s store. Uh, so that's a pretty easy way of viewing the videos. You just uh, sit on your computer and you can see what's happening. Now, Cacophony have actually added an even easier way to view the results of the cameras, and this is called uh, their visits analysis. So here you can see an analysis of how many uh, visits each, each of your cameras uh, has had, um, in this case it's over a, the last seven days, um, and we can see that, uh, for example, Trapcam 4 has had a lot of visits, um, so we can click on this, and this visit analysis, it groups together recordings, so if we see lots of animals in um, videos that are close together, we'll count that as one visit, and so it lets you see a, 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 a higher level summary of what's been happening on your cameras. So here you can see this particular um, camera has had 17 visits from hedgehogs, plus visits from a number of other animals. And then you can go and view them. Um, so for example, here's one that was taken uh, in the morning. Um, it just has one track that's part of this visit. Um, and it's uh, fairly short, it's a hedgehog. Let's click on it and have a look at it. And it looks like um, this is a trap here. Uh, a trap with a cage at the back. The hedgehog is um, 
in the cage at the back of the cab, uh, trap. So you, it needs to be go uh, cleared, that particular trap. So there you have it. That's just a very brief overview of how the browse functionality works um, for the Cacophony cameras. Um, these cameras are available to purchase uh, from the 2040 website um, at 2040.co.nz. You can also rent them if you'd like to try before you buy. Thank you very much.